Welcome to the Weekly Water Outlook. Lots of the nation right now is in drought, a very large percentage. In fact, 72% of the nation is currently in some degree of drought, and almost 20% is either in severe or exceptional drought. Now, it's not ex expanding drastically, but it is slowly expanding as large parts of the area have not received any rain last week. Now, I've looked at a lot of the models. The jet stream has anchored up to the north, and that's going to continue to keep very dry conditions, primarily over the southwest and the south, and a large part of the southeast as well. I am going to discuss in this week's outlook both the short term for this week, as well as looking out for the rest of November, and unfortunately, it looks like dry weather will continue over most areas. Stay tuned to this week's edition of the Weekly Water Outlook. Well, rainfall across the nation last week, for the most part, was pretty light. Blues are up to a half inch of rain, and you can see there most areas received only up to a half inch of rain. Now, there were a couple spots that received enhanced rainfall. It extended across the central part of the country with that front, uh, front that's going to be moving through, Pacific Northwest, and also the far northern tier of the Great Plains. Like I said, elsewhere, it's been pretty quiet over the last week, and Consequently, we see broad areas of the nation received below normal rainfall, as indicated in red. Primarily, the eastern third of the nation, which almost the entire eastern third was below normal. Uh, the far south, including Texas, and the far west. Now, you might wonder why the Pacific Northwest received some rain, but if you look at the percent of normal, it was fairly close to normal. And that's because it's typical to receive significant amounts of rain in that region this time of year. I thought I'd step back just for a moment and look at some of the patterns that are occurring. This is normal precipitation that would occur in November. And what you can see is there are generally three areas where there are fairly strong climatological signals. The Pacific Northwest that gets a lot of rain. The South Central U.S. from uh, parts of uh, Arkansas, Louisiana, over up into uh, parts of uh, Kentucky, Mississippi, and Alabama, and then the Northeast U.S. And generally speaking, these patterns are occurring. Um, Pacific Northwest is getting enhanced rainfall. The region in the south central part of the uh, nation is getting some rain, as well as the northeast U.S. While the pattern looks familiar, the intensities, except for perhaps the Pacific Northwest, are below normal. So I think as we get into the latter part of the month, even though the patterns of rainfall will look fairly typical for November, the amounts of rainfall most likely will be below normal. If we look at the percent of the nation in drought, you can see that the majority of the nation is in some degree of drought. Only about 27% of the nation is currently not experiencing drought. So from a water resource perspective, uh, we're looking at lack of rainfall over the nation much more than too much rain. Now the jet stream this week, uh, always sort of interesting, um, early this week, in yellow, what we have is a dip in the jet stream, which is representing some atmospheric energy, which is moving off to the east, and that's going to trigger a round of rainfall, even some strong thunderstorms over the middle part of the country. And then as it moves to the east, it's going to rapidly diminish in intensity, and rainfall will also diminish. The rest of the week, in blue, what we have is a sloppy zonal flow. And what I mean by that, a zonal flow is a west-to-east flow, fairly quick, um, but there are going to be some embedded areas of energy in there that will bring rainfall from time to time. What's significant for most of the nation is that this is unusually far to the north, and it's going to pretty much shut down rain to the south. Now, I wanted to show you even further out, 6 to 10 day here. You might remember I've been talking about the Arctic Oscillation. Um, in no October, it was in a negative range, and as we got into November, it became into the positive range. Um, the forecast is calling for it to remain mainly positive uh, for the rest of the month. Now what that has done is that has relaxed the east coast trough and allowed it to bow to the north. Um, and this is, these are the expected anomalies of pressure um, and what we, for the rest of the month. And what we see here is this red here uh, over the eastern U.S. is above normal pressure anomalies. And that means the jet stream will be bowing unusually north in that region. And out in the east, we have below normal uh, anomalies, and that means that the jet will dig in that region. So the pattern that we're generally going to be getting into after the zonal flow is generally a pattern of below normal pressures west, above normal pressure east. Anything under this ridge of high pressure most likely is going to be experiencing above normal temperatures and below normal pressure, especially over the southern tier of the U.S., 
The Pacific Northwest and parts of the western U.S. will probably receive closer to normal rainfall uh, in that area as that atmospheric energy is stronger. And this is what we see in the next two weeks for precipitation. What we see here in week one, we see uh, broad areas of light rain um, with the exception of the Pacific Northwest and the Midwest. The Midwest is the rain we'll receive early this week. But look how, look how big of the uh, nation with no rain whatsoever. So I'm not saying that there will be no rain, but there's light amount of rain in that area. Week two, pretty much that same area here, very light amount of rain. Now this is significant. We're seeing week after week of very, very light or no rain whatsoever in very broad parts of the western U.S. And in week two, in fact, it looks like parts of the eastern U.S. are very quiet as well. So for the most part, a very quiet pattern uh, with nothing all that significant with rainfall uh, for much of the rest of the month. Now the rain that's going to be moving through early this week, I just wanted to show you from a, a drought perspective how much rain is needed to bring back to normal. And in that line in black is our areas that could have some drought relief. That'll probably subtract maybe an inch or two from those figures. So if it takes three to six inches of rain, it might bring it down to, oh, maybe two to five inches. So it's not gonna get rid of the drought, but it could help areas there. Everywhere else, no significant change seen for the next couple weeks. And in fact, if I look at a soil moisture model here, uh, this goes out through the rest of November, uh, we really see the strongest signal of any is below normal soil moisture over broad parts of the south up into the Great Plains, and a little bit more mixed signal over the east, perhaps some above normal uh, precipitation and soil moisture from the Ohio Valley up into the northeast U.S. So the story again, as we get through November, many ways to tell it, looks like below normal precipitation. So the trends and threats as we get into this week, 11th through 17th, but the only area where I expect some significant rain is the Pacific Northwest with the heaviest rain, and then early this week an inch or two over parts of the middle part of the nation, diminishing as it moves off to the northeast. Areas in drought, the west, well below normal precipitation, only 25% or less, the drought will persist. And over the southeast U.S., even though there could be a little bit of rain with this front, it will be diminishing and the drought will continue. Takeaway points, weak upper flow pattern, jet anchored to the north over most areas, just one frontal passage through most of the week and widespread below normal precipitation expect, except for the Pacific Northwest. Now, thank you for listening to this week's edition of the Weekly Water Outlook. I'd love to hear from you. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach me at john at bluewateroutlook.com. If you find this information useful, let me know and uh, pass it on to any of the, your colleagues or friends who you find might also find it useful. I will be updating this next week, and I will be sending out information towards the middle of the week as well. Thank you for listening.